So the Los Angeles Dodgers just added another guaranteed first ballot Hall of Famer to their family, Albert Pujols. And uh, they just signed him for the remainder of the season. You know, which I think is a, I think is a, is a, is a good move. It's not only nostalgic, but he could actually provide some value for them, even though he had a rough, you know, season go ago this year. You know, there were still some positives in there, and you know, he, he still has a little bit of a bat. And, and I think going to a scenario at the Dodgers will he be relied on less? He'd still be able to give Max Muncy some insurance, some protection. He, you know, he'd be a pinch hitting specialist off the bench. But most of all, I think he'd be a really good veteran presence to a lot of the young. A lot of the young, you know, players on that team. So he's gonna. I think he's gonna provide value in, in, in several different ways. So again, I wouldn't expect much from him on the bat. I mean, he might catch catch an occasional home run here and there, some key base hits, stuff like that. But I think his value is gonna be more than that. And, and again, it gives the, the Dodgers another for another Hall of Fame guy. But you know, I, I think there's an emotional touch to it too. It's you know, he's gonna hopefully help them in their run to not only repeat as champions but for him to get his third ring as well and I think you know it could be it could be a number of factors and the Dodgers have been having a, a rough stretch lately so maybe he'll you know maybe he'll provide a spark to some of the younger guys even some of the veterans just by the way he carries himself he's a, he's an ultimate professional he's a classy guy and you know I, this is and it's a low risk move for the Dodgers they have nothing to lose here and they have everything to gain so you know, I like the move, and and I, you know, and I'm glad that somebody's taken him, and hopefully he lasts the entire season, so he can kind of go out in style. Because as soon as he retires, the countdown's gonna start, and he's gonna be going to the Hall of Fame in five years. So there's no doubt about that. But you know, good move for the Dodgers. Well done. It's a classy move, and it keeps him on the West Coast to finish out his career. And again, you know, I think he'll have some. He'll have a couple of decent moments there. I think he was not the player it was. You know, 10 years ago, and nobody's disputing that, but he still brings values. And he, and he had five home runs this year in a small bit of, you know, I think a little under uh, a little under 100 plate appearances. The average was sub 200. I get he's a three or just career, just about 300 hitter. And this, but, you know, he, I think he can, he can get the average up a little bit, which, you know, but it, whenever he it gets opportunities, I think he'll capitalize on them for the most part. And, what he provides is what he provides, but I think what he provides off the field when he's not in the diamond during the game is going gonna, is gonna to be the biggest value he brings to the team, particularly with the younger guys and the younger Latin players too, which I think he'll relate to. And they, you know, they'll, I, th I think he's going to, I think he's going to be, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a good move, and it'll be fun seeing him in a Dodgers uniform. <laughs> you know, if he hits a couple of home runs and and. And maybe you never know. He might stick it to the Angels if they play the Angels at some point. So it, it, it's still going to be fun to watch. But all in all, just to, wanted to break the news if you haven't heard yet. And uh, kudos to, to Albert Pujols. And uh, hopefully he you know, gets an opportunity to finish the year out on his way to the Hall of Fame. So I'll talk to you next time.